Hi all, Mike here with Cine Samples, and this is the Cineperk Pro video. So this is part two of uh, our Cineperk walkthrough series. Um, in the first part, I focused on Cineperk Core, which is um, sort of the foundation of the orchestral template, which we're, we're calling Orchestral Percussion Essentials. And, uh, and this library, Cineperk Pro, fills out the rest of the orchestral percussion. Uh, and we were calling it Orchestral Percussion Expansion. All right, so let's get right to it. Um, I'm going to start first with sort of the anomaly in the library, and that is the drum kit. This is sort of the, the cool part of the library, the, the highlight, if you will. So here we go. This is, uh, this is the drum kit. It was sampled right in the middle of the room. And uh, that sounds. This is all like the drum, all the white keys are all of the uh, toms and, and the bass drum and the snares. And then most of the black keys are kind of like either rim shots or uh, cymbals or hi-hats. Okay. Now the drum kit has a variety of mic positions. Uh, by default, all of this stuff is set to full mix to kind of help with resources because Full mix, it's just one, you know, stereo sample per key. But you can also load up the different mic positions here and have further control over the sound. So here is, here's how it sounds of just loading the spot overhead in room. And here, let's take a listen to, I'm going to pull down the spot and overhead, and this is just the room mics. Okay. Pardon my awful playing. And here's the overhead mics. This is a little bit closer. It's just right above the drum kit. I'm awful. Uh, and this is the spot mic, so this is all the really close microphones on all the drums. All right. And then this is the, uh, the uh, full mix by itself. Now, uh, the drum kit has two patches. Um, we've got the standard patch, and then we have drum kit combos and fills. So we actually sampled sort of combinations of, of, of drums being hit. That's what this sounds like. Um, so down here, we've got the low toms and the low bass drum, or kick drum. <laughs> and then as you move up, you get more toms. As you move up, you get snare drum, and then up here we got some fills. Okay, so that's that one. All right, let's move on to sort of the more standard orchestral stuff. This is the marimba. It comes with Cineperk Pro. So the marimba, the uh, articulations that we have with this 
Um, we have a soft mallet and a hard mallet, and that's all mapped to velocity by default. So you play soft, you get the soft mallet, play a little harder, and the hard mallet gets swapped in there. Uh, now, we also got rolls. And this is pretty cool. The way this works is if you hold down the sustain pedal, uh, you get the roll. So. This instrument in particular um, takes great advantage of the multiple mic positions. Uh, sometimes you want a really close marimba sound for certain things. That sounds like this. Oh, by the way, just a little programming tip. Don't play more than four notes at the same time with a marimba, just because that's you can't play more than four in real life. So. Stick to three or under. I've been doing big chords, that's not accurate. You can, you know. okay. All right, moving on. This is the glass marimba. This is a really cool instrument. Sounds like this. Basic map, mapping on that one. You have two mallets to work with. Here's the vibraphone. This is cool. I'm going to spend a couple of seconds on this one. Um, all right. So by default, you load up the patch. Uh, you're going to get just the shorts. Now, vibraphone has a, a sustain pedal, right? So without the sustain pedal on, you got this. <laughs> playing. Now, I'm going to hold down the sustain pedal. And this is cool because the sustain pedal actually has a release trigger to it. So, uh, so I'll play a chord and then listen to the release. Kind of has that, that harmonic uh, effect that happens when you dampen the bars. Okay, so the other uh, things this has are, all right, we got the rolls, which is uh, you hold down the key switch. Okay, and then we also have motor on. So this is, uh, this is with the motor on. Okay, motor off. Motor on. And then we have Bode. This is cool. All right, that's the vibraphone. Protales. Okay. Uh, Crotales are kind of like glockenspiel, but they, they have, there are these little round uh, pieces of metal of varying sizes. A bit of a darker sound. And that's what these sound like. You hold the pedal down and you get bowed Crotales. So the sustain pedal is down. Here's the chalice. This one is cool. 
Now, I want to be clear. This is not to be confused with our upcoming Randy's Celeste Library. Uh, this is more just an orchestral Celeste. Uh, Randy's Library is more of a specialty sound, and they're comp two completely different libraries. Uh, but this one has a lot more uh, functionality as far as you know all the mic positions and whatnot. So here's what this sounds like, just the default full mix. Just sort of, uh, if you wanted to have the celeste more in the orchestra, uh, this, uh, that's what this sounds like. Okay, we also got low chimes. Now, uh, for any of you who have actually been to the MGM scoring stage at Sony, there are these old dusty chimes that have always been sitting back in the corner um, something for like something like 40 years. They're old. They're, the wood that's holding them together is broken. Um, but we thought, ah, what the heck, let's sample them. They're like 12 feet tall. These things are huge. Um, and this is what they sound like. And just for fun, we actually mapped it and stretched it all the way down to the bottom of the keyboard. <laughs> okay, here are uh, here are all the kind of like bell-like instruments: sleigh bells, brake drum, or bell tree, sleigh bells, and then we have metal stuff in there as well: brake drum, anvil, and the ever important cowbell. This sounds like. All right, and here's the cowbells. We actually sampled four of them with sticks, and then here's hitting on the side of the cowbell. All right, and, uh, and then we also sampled them with mallets. Right, and then we got rolls. By the way, anytime you, you hear a roll or anytime we program a roll, it's it's uh it always has uh, some mod wheel control. So that's so there you go. This is probably the most deeply sampled cowbell library you will ever own. I can hear the cowbell jokes already. Alright, this is a flexitone. This is kind of a comedic instrument sounds like this right. okay now this patch is all sort of the wooden um, instruments like wood block Pestinets, flapstick. By the way, again, I keep kind of repeating myself, but if you're ever confused about the way we've mapped things, just keep in mind that everything revolves around C. So the basic hits are always going to be on C and D, right? All right, so let's say um, the reason we did that is because we want to have consistency not only within the patches, but amongst all the other patches. So what you could be doing is you could be programming something, and let's say you have your whole percussion uh, arrangement, but you want to just change the one um, wood block, and you want to try a different one. So you just t select that region and just transpose to a different octave. And you'll get a different instrument within that patch. Likewise, you can copy-paste that region and 
move it to another completely different patch. If you wanted to say have the wood box playing the same thing uh, as the temple blocks, you know. So okay. cast the nets. Here are the sand blocks. And the ratchet and the fiber slap. This is kind of like a slower sand block. And this is faster. Ratchet. Okay, this patch is called Sticks and Tickies. All right, these, this patch is actually very important. And if you're ever trying to create really big sounding um, percussion arrangements, you have to keep in mind that you need a lot of stuff to add onto the high end. That actually kind of makes percussion sound even bigger. If you got big drums going, if you add some of this on top, it actually makes it sound even more huge. So, um, so we did is we sampled also we actually hit sticks on the ground we hit like sticks together um, and here's some of the options and things we got All right those are very important for impression writing. Uh, and then we got temple blocks, okay? Five temple blocks. Okay. Orchestral shakers. Um, there's five shakers in this particular patch. Rolls too. All right, now this one is called Car Horn, Lion's Roar, and Spring Drum. This one's whistles, trains, train siren, tra train siren, and slide whistle. We have two patches that cover the water phone. Uh, this is normal, so this is without any water in it. Like this. Okay. Now you put water in it, and it sounds like this, right, okay, all right, now this is the uh, octobon. Now there's four of them. They're kind of like these tall drums and they, they're, they're not that, they're not that big but they have a big sound and they kind of, they're great for cutting through a mix. And that sounds like this. Okay. 
All right, next one is the Roto Toms. Goes down with this. <laughs> Five of them. Alright, now we got a couple of sort of funny instruments here. This is uh we sampled a computer keyboard and mouse. Mouse clicks. And we also did a typewriter. This is a very deeply sampled typewriter. That's it for Cineperk uh, Pro. Uh, you get quite a lot of stuff in this library. Um, and I think we feel that, uh, that with this plus Cineperk Core, you have a real solid percussion library um, to kind of get started. And uh, so uh, thanks for watching. And please stay tuned for part three, where I'll discuss the Cineperk Epic library. And also in part four, I'm going to discuss Cineperk Aux, which is a really cool library. All right, so thanks for watching, and see you soon. Bye.